this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Majora's Mask! Today, there's one more thing I want to do here at Great Bay, now that we've defeated Gorg. So, let's see, let's go over to the coast over there. Yeah, that is one thing about Great Bay compared to Snowhead and Woodfall, that there's really not a whole lot that changes around here after defeating the boss of the local temple for some reason. I don't know why. So yeah, we're almost done with everything that we can that we can do around here. So let's see what we got here. Might as well get some more rupees while we're at it. So let's see. Yeah, once you defeat Gorg, this boat shows up here. So sure, why not? Let's uh, head on over there then. So just get on the boat here and it'll start moving on its own somehow. Uh, well, I guess they got like, what, a propeller on the back of the boat or something or other. And yeah, this boat's gonna take us over to those islands over there. One of which has a palm tree on it. And well, that's how you're gonna get over there. Hook shot to the palm tree. It's too far away from anything else you could uh, reach then. So wait for the boat to get a little closer there. Whoop, try that again. There we go. Ha ha! Hey, how's it going? Are you the guy that I gave the picture for the seahorse? I think it is. Although, why clearing up the oceans had anything to do with the minigame here, I don't know. It has nothing to do with the water, but in any case, we got a jumping minigame here. And if you want to, like, equip something like the bunny hood or something, you gotta do it before jumping to the center island and starting the mini game because once it starts, you lose access to all your items. But any any, any masks that you have equipped remain on. So as you can see here, we've got four torches on the outer islands. They're, none of them are lit right now, and he's gonna light them up one at a time in a random order there. And if you jump to the correct island with the torch lit. You get a point, and 20 points, you win the mini game. So, yeah, sure, why not? I prefer to not use the bunny hood for this mini game, even though the islands are a little bit far apart from each other, but I don't want to risk, like, losing control of my jumps here. So, what I like to do usually is use the L button a lot to change my camera angle. So I'm pretty much going straight up every time. Although you could just do like this, whoa, <laughs> and you know, not bother changing the camera angle there, but I find that that like kind of destabilizes the accuracy of my jumps here. And well, suffice to say, if you fall off the islands, the game is over. Uh, same thing if you go back to the island with the fisherman, on it in the first place there so you want to watch out for that now there is a limited amount of time that these torches will be lit so if you take too long you'll lose out on the potential point there but i don't think it's really a big deal because well you have more than enough time to reach 20 torches there so better safe than sorry as far as that's concerned so i prefer to just Take it easy, get, adjust the camera angle there. Sometimes when I go from like left to right or something, uh, yeah, you see there, I was a little slow on that one. But uh, yeah, we still got plenty of time to make up for that. You don't need like a perfect score or anything like that. Just reach 20 torches and you're good to go. And now I'm just going to stay put here because I don't want to risk, I mean, I could, get more points if I really wanted to, but I don't. All you gotta do is get 20 and you're good. So let's just, you know, not put anything at risk here other than the power going out while I'm recording. I mean, the 3DS would be fine, but not my computers. But all right, so we complete the mini game there and what do we get for our prize? Oh, we can do the Bomber's Notebook entry first. Way to spoil the prize there, game! Yeah, that does seem a little odd how sometimes they put the Bomber's Notebook entry before you actually get the reward like that. 
Ha ha. Whoa, what? Just from one boss? Okay. Huh, maybe that's not the same guy as the other fisherman there. I mean, it looks like the guy. I think it does anyway, but... Yeah, now I don't know. I would think we would have had an entry for him in the bomber's notebook before now. But, uh, okay, so, one more thing I want to take care of. Let's go back to the mountain village. If you've defeated Goat and you've gotten all of the frogs throughout Termina to come back here and use Don's Rose Mask, we can hear them sing. So, yeah, let's give that a try. Wear the mask and talk to the frogs here. So, sure, why not? Why are you conducting there, Link? You got like a wind waker or something? No. No, that's not in this game. But for completing this, yeah, we get another heart piece. Hooray! Yeah, so like this one, they don't even give you the notebook entry until after you get the prize. Really weird how they do that. But in any case, we're done with our business here. Let's head on back to Clock Town, and that's everything that I want to do on this cycle here. So, yeah, let's head on back there then. I want to deposit all of my rupees, and I'm not worried about any of the other consumables that I've got here. So, yeah, let's just deposit everything. There we go. And play the Song of Time. And now, I want to start the Anju and Cafe side quest from, and finish it to the end this time. I'm going to start this from the beginning, for those who didn't watch earlier episodes. But I also want to go over various sequence triggers and hidden cutscenes that I didn't before. So, let's see. Let me... Uh, yeah, let's get back here then. I'm not even going to bother... Uh, what is it? Playing the inverted Song of Time. Not right away, anyway. So, let's see. There's one thing I want to show you guys. Uh, well, yeah, the fourth area is the canyon region, and we need to be able to access that in order to complete the side quest. I could have done that as early as when I got the hook shot there, but I wanted to save that region for, well, when we we're solving all the other problems of the region. So yeah, you see here at 6 o'clock, yeah, there's Cafe. You could have seen him before, but, well, you, you probably wouldn't have known who he was or what he was doing there. So yeah, he drops off a letter there and then go, go, runs off, I guess, or something. But uh, let's see, if you go all the way over here, where he's staying for the moment, yeah, the house is locked, even though he's outside now. So, yeah, unlike later on in the side quest. But, uh, well, what do we got here? Oh, okay. Not sure what that has to do with this, but okay. Well, I do, but let's see. Okay, so, yeah, he goes back inside, but the door is locked again, so there's nothing you can do with that. So, okay, so for, well, the first part of the side quest, you need to get a, a certain mask. So, I actually did that earlier, but I'm just going to record a new clip for those who didn't see that. And, what is it? So, yeah, uh, what I want to do is I want to switch to an earlier save file, since I can't show that on this file. And I'll be right back. Okay, we're back way earlier in the game. I created a new save file and worked my way up to after the first cycle of days. So we're in the second cycle now. And to start the Anju and Cafe side quest, we need to go to the mayor's residence here at 10 a.m. So let's play the Song of Double Time so that way we can actually get in there. Otherwise, the door doesn't open until then. Otherwise, if you're playing the Nintendo 64 version, you could uh, talk to Anju's grandmother to advance the clock two hours. But you do want to get here 
after 10 a.m. at some point, but before, like, 11 a.m., because that's when Gorman comes in here. So, yeah, talk to uh, this lady here. You hired someone else? I mean, I, I am someone else, of course. Yeah, I've played this adventure game before. Oh, okay. Uh, no, I don't think I've ever seen the guy. Oh, a month ago. Huh. Wow, that was longer than I thought. No, no, not really. I just got here. But, uh, sure, why not? So, yeah, talk to uh, Cafe's mother. She gives you the mask here. To, so that way you can actually start the side quest. Oh, okay. So, yeah, if you didn't get it earlier, well, this is how you do that. And you get another entry in the, your bomber's notebook there. But all right, let's see. If you go back here, you can also get a little more insight as to, well, what Cafe has been up to. You go over here. Ha-ha! Got a little diary here. And let's see. A wedding mask, huh? So, yeah, Anju and Cafe are... Getting married, apparently. Oh, um, yeah. Tonight? Well, assuming that he disappeared a month ago, I'm guessing that diary entry is referring to then, not today. Because, yeah, if you go to the bar at nighttime here, you he won't be there. So, okay, so yeah, that's the only clue we got. So you would have to go and talk to Anju at the end. So, yeah, we need to uh, get over there before, uh, what is it, before 9 p.m., preferably before 8 p.m. And, yeah, so I'll just uh, meet you over there back in the main file that I created before. Okay, we're back. And let's see. Okay, so we already have the cafe's mask here. So let's ask around for some information there. Oh, yeah, I... Well, I already went there. But, uh, okay. Oh, yeah, so I do. Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, remember that for later, viewers. Oh, I didn't even know we had a, an entry for that like that but uh okay i was just screwing around here but uh okay so in order to well actually you know what let's go inside now that it's eight past 8 a.m we can uh what is it yeah talk to anju here with the cafe's mask oh uh, hmm Well, he has been gone for quite a long time. So, let's see. She says to wait until noon, but the postman won't get here until 2 p.m. So, yeah, we got to uh, advance the clock until we get to that point. So, yeah, let's go do that. Oh, you know, I'm also going to want the Goan mask. Not that it's especially needed or mandatory for the side quest, but there is something I want to show off with that. So let's wait around. Okay. He delivers the letter there and see what's going on. Yeah. He's a postman. Yeah. yeah. Well, what did you expect? In town? What? What does it matter wh which post box he got it from? But anyway, okay, just wait around a little bit, and then, yeah, he takes off, and now we can talk to her. So, yep, yeah, uh-huh. Oh, really? Okay, yeah, sure, why not? And let's see, one other thing I want to do is wear the Goan mask while talking to her between... 
about 2.30 and 4 p.m. So that way we already have the reservation here. Although if you're playing the Nintendo 64 version of the game, you don't even need the Goron mask at all for this part. And like I said, you don't even have to do this to complete the side quest, but there's a hidden cutscene that you can get with having access to that room there. But all right, okay, so we did that, and let's see, let's get out here. Now here's uh, an, a very oddly specific uh, sequence trigger for being able to complete the side quest. Well, getting a little jumpy there. Okay. So let's see, if we go up here and let's see, I want to I want to advance the clock to midnight. So let's do that. So as you recall, at this point in the day there, uh, Sakan shows up here, or Sakon, or however you pronounce the guy's name, I don't know. But in any case, yeah, you, uh, what is it? So he's gonna steal the big bomb bag from the old lady there and you need him not only to steal the bag but you need him to well be alive <laughs> as well so you can't use like the arrows like i showed before to uh, stop him or at least bring him to justice in a manner of speaking you could also use the hook shot to destroy the bomb bag or make it explode or you could use the Zora boomerangs that would have the same effect. I think a bomb would do that too. Are you gonna help out kid? No? Okay never mind then. But uh yeah so we have to let him get away. Why he's running around seemingly randomly like that I don't know. You don't actually have to watch this cutscene in order for him to get away, but I just wanted to mention that you, you do need to let him get away in order to uh, be able to complete the side quest, because he's involved with... Well, yeah, he's involved later on. Let's just put it that way. We need him alive. Okay, so then let's see. We need to... Uh, pay a visit or meet up with Anju here. So let's go do that. And let's see. You can get here anytime between 11.30 and 6 a.m. So, yeah, you don't have to meet her at 11.30 on the dot or anything like that. Just sometime between those hours there. But, uh, okay. What's clear to you? Oh. Okay, uh, yeah, sure, why not? Why do you have the word meat, like, highlighted there? I don't know what the point of that is, but, uh, okay, yeah, sure, why not? Well, why would that matter? Oh. Okay, well, never mind, then. What happens if I say no? But thou must! So, yeah, we have to once you uh, show up here. Yes. But, uh, okay. So, yeah, just put the letter in the mailbox. I don't know why we have to do that. Oh, yeah, you could also use a letter to give to this guy to use his toilet paper if you really wanted. <laughs> but, uh, no, no. Oh, yeah, one other thing with the, uh, where's the stairs? I must have, uh, ah, there we go. Yeah, so, yeah, since we have the room key, we can go in here and, let's see, yeah, there's a chest over there, and that has a silver rupee. If you want to collect that on each cycle, you could do that, but, uh, I don't think that's necessary, but you could if you wanted, but, uh, uh, where am I? Game? Damn camera angles. But, okay, let's see, if we go over here... We got the nearest mailbox, I think. So, yeah, just deposit that in there. There we go. And that'll take care of things. 
But all right. So yeah, the next thing we need to do is uh, what is that? Uh, meet up with Cafe on day two. Past uh, well, once he gets the or his letter or well, her letter to him from the postman there. But where is Sakan running off to after stealing that bomb bag? Find out next time on Let's Play Majora's Mask. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!